ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode on the Chaos Craft server. How are you doing today, huh? You doing mighty fine? I hope you're doing great today because guess what? I'm doing pretty good. I, I just okay, actually. You know what? No, better than okay. I'm doing great. So take a look at this. Last time we left off, there was just a hole here. Just a little hole. Lee whittle 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 hole. But now, take a look at what I've done. What I've done, what I've done. I've done a lot of work. I have finally gotten the starting point of the hole. What the whole hole, the whole hole, the whole 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 hole is going to look like. Man, try to say whole hole five times fast. Not easy. But take a look down here. There is so much going on. There is so, so much going on. Lots and lots of... Lots of cool things going on. And now I'm going to show you exactly how. Now let's jump to our death. Oh, no, we're not. No, we're not. Because we can fly. We can fly. Look at this. We got our elytras on right here, right now. Beautiful. So what I have planned for us is we are going to fill in these little side holes right here. Hang on one sec. Sorry about that. The people above me were just doing something pretty crazy. I'm not too sure. It sounded like they were dragging stuff around upstairs. Uh, maybe. I don't know. Anyways, let's get back to business. So, we are going to fill in these sides with some blocks. We're going to do some work. And this is a lot of work I got to do because to do this, I got to dig this back all one hole, just like that. So, I got more digging ahead of me, which is going to be the real, real, real fun job. So, I got a lot of work to do. But basically, I can show you what my idea is. Now, ignore these birch here. This was basically me lining up the roofs above there and these were just the blocks I happen to have on me but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a whole bunch of just hardened clay so you know that stuff that you get from the mesa biomes and it's gonna run all the way down the back so let's see if we can get some hardened clay I know I've got a bunch in my chest right now uh, and we gotta find where the mesa biome is I forget exactly where it is uh, there might be a nether tunnel that leads to it somewhere Maybe, if somebody's been nice to make it. There it is. So I'm just going to give you guys an idea as to what this is going to look like. So let's get started. Uh, let's take our shovel shovel. There we go. And we're going to start just with this one. Wow, that digs a lot quicker than I thought. Okay, there we go. So let's dig all the way down, just on this one. I don't think 64 will be enough now that I think about it. Uh, probably not, but it's a good enough starting point. It's a good starting point. I should have grabbed the other material while I was up there. That would have been smart, Con Man, but no. No, we don't work that way here. Not at Con Man. But guys, I am officially back to YouTube, and I hope you guys are enjoying every bit of it, because I am again. I don't know what it was. For the longest time, I just was not enjoying YouTube, uh... I think what it came from was the, the copyright strike that I got. It just kind of uh, disheartened me, I guess is the best word. Uh, so basically, I was just kind of stuttering around. Is that the word? I don't know, maybe. I was just kind of going around and doing my own thing, and it just, I don't know. I, I wasn't enjoying YouTube or anything because I wasn't able to do the thing that I really wanted to do, and that was some stream, some WWE stuff, because I was seeing amazing, amazing amazing numbers with that but anyways I got the itch to come back and I am back but anyways that's as far as we are gonna get oh wait no we got more we can finish okay perfect um now I was just basically stuck in a rut anyways I'm out of the rut and I'm back and I'm back for good there's no more breaks because I'm being hard on myself I'm gonna make sure that I get this done that I get these videos up to you guys because you deserve it you really do uh, you've stuck around me through the good and the bad times, and now it's my turn to repay you guys. But that was the first part there that we're gonna that we're gonna have. Let's put that away and let's get. Where's these birch? There it is. All right. Now I know what you're thinking, Con Man. Birch wood? What are you doing? But the birch wood is here for a reason. Oh wait, hang on. Uh, they changed the recipe, didn't they? I think it's sticks with here I could be wrong but is it this yeah okay there there we go so 48 six, uh, that's not enough so let's get a little bit more just a little bit more uh, we only need another 16 there we go uh, so boom eight on each side boom 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 and boom there we go so that should give me enough to get this one done all right, just just for now. This is just for now. So let's fly on down and let's give you a quick look. 
uh, what we're going to deal with. I've died a couple times from doing this. I'm not quite used to my elytra yet. <laughs> kind of forgot how it works. Uh, but anyways. So anyways, this is how this is going to go. Uh, oh no, hang on. Is this not going to work? We got to be able to jump up on it, right? Okay, cool. We can. Boom. So we're just going to go like this and just go all the way up with the birch wood along the sides. And this is just going to give it a little bit of contrast. I don't want too much, nothing too fancy for the walls because, I mean, we got to replicate this a lot of times. And let's go on down. Boom. And fly on down. There we go. Look at that. This beautiful, beautiful little flat job. Beautiful con man. I like it. And so let's... Right, so that is the reason. So the first block we have a trouble placing. We might have just enough to get all the way up. I think we do. Now, if this looks as good as it did in my uh, creative let's play, or not let's play it, creative world, uh, then this should work out just fine. I think this is a fancy enough wall to, uh, to satisfy what... Oh, oh no! Oh! Well, crap, I told you that I have died a couple times from this. Uh, and it looks like I died again. Yep. Yippers. Uh, let's just pretend that didn't happen, and let's walk on down. Oh, oh, well, oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> we got some spectators on right now, or a single spectator. Well, you, uh, you died. Thank you for joining and watching that, Brent the Gamer. I think that's your name, right? Brent the Gamer. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that is just the con man life. There we go. Uh, where's my elytras? There they are. Beautiful. Okay, so that is going to be our wall all the way around. So what do you guys think? Does that look all right? If we replicated that all the way through, do you think that'll look all right? Or is that going to be too bad? Now, what I also had envisioned is on a couple of these, not every single one, we'll have ladders running up the middle. So that at least it's functional so we can get up and down from the hole. Now, that's not going to be my main transportation mode. Uh, I'm going to have multiple things. I'm going to have a spiral staircase running all the way around the outside of this. So all the way down. And that's going to have our houses connected to it. And then I also want a quick little mine shaft down. Or not mine shaft. A mine cart system running around the outside. Maybe we're going to have it some tracks leading outside around the rim so it looks like an actual functioning mine city because uh, if you guys don't know what I'm doing down here is I'm making kind of a dwarven mine that's the whole focus of this that is the idea behind this whole hole I guess you can say um, so that's kind of what we're gonna do but without further ado guys we're not gonna be working on this all day no 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 because con man's back you know con man's back and that means the prankster's back. That's right. That's right. And I have already done something. I've done a little, little something, something. Jamesy. You know Jamesy, the Australian, the man, the friendly guy over here on the server. Well, there's a little rumor going around that he's missing his beacon. Now, let's go take a look at what he means by missing. Okay, so we are over here at Jamesy's base, and look at this thing. I'm not sure if any of you from my channel have seen this or have been keeping up with Jamesy, but this dude, oh, look at him. He does work, my friends. I mean, this is absolutely unreal. I'm not sure what this is going to mean or what he's going to exactly do with it. I'm really behind on episodes, but take a look back here. This is the scene of the crime. Now, right now... This dude's so rich that he put diamond blocks out in the open. I mean, absolutely diamond blocks out in the open where monsters can steal them and take them. And I'm pretty sure that's exactly what happened with the beacon. <laughs> Who am I kidding? Who am I kidding? Conman stole the beacon. Uh, and Jamesy is going to have to pay a hefty reward to get it back. Or he's going to be on the wildest goose chase of his life. So take a look right here, right here. Well... Look what we have here. I heard from a little birdie that you're missing a certain beacon. Wouldn't it be a shame if someone had it? I might very well know the thing or two about its location. Now my question to you is just how bad do you want it back? I could be helpful, or I could send you on a hunt for it. This is your choice. You may either search for it, or pay. Now, 
Oh, wait, that's not the end of it. <laughs> or pay me for its safe return. Time's ticking, man. Decision time. So there you go, Jamesy. There you go, my friend. You're going to go searching for it, or you're going to pay me for it. Now, the price is still up for discussion to get it back, but the search is going to be one of the toughest of your life. There will be clues everywhere, my friend. So if you want the safe return of your beacon without taking your sweet time to go search for it, well then, my friend, I'll tell you what, we can discuss money. But if you don't want to pay, that's fine. Just expect a dangerous, dangerous road ahead in return of your beacon, if you can make it all the way. So now that we got that out of the way, I'm just going to do a little bit of roaming around spawn and we are just going to take a look at what some future ideas that I have. Because there's a couple things that I want to do with base as well with my home base, obviously like you've seen it, but I just got to put it down. But there's also a couple other things. There's the main thing right here that I do want to take of take care of very very soon now if we head down here is this horse friendly uh, I think it is all right perfect perfect horses are a big reason that I need on the server like I need a horse on the server because everything is within walking distance of each other so we got to make sure that we have a horse on us at all times or at least pretty damn close to all times right uh, but one thing that I want to make sure that I set up pretty soon is one of these tunnels that we have um, tunnel under construction. Looks like people are starting to set it up themselves, but I think I am in this direction. So maybe we will take this tunnel right here. Is this west? Uh, oh, it's north, east, south, west. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think I got to go on this tunnel because I believe I'm west. Yeah, because we came down here. Yeah, I think I'm that way. So we're going to take this tunnel here. And it's going to go out in the west, western direction. The western direction. I guess that makes sense, right? So that is going to be our tunnel. And I want to have this connect to our actual city. So I don't want it coming up top. I don't want it going midway down. I want it connecting to the actual city. And if you think back to what I said just a couple minutes ago, we're going to have like train tracks roaming around the outside, right? You know, where you're coming outside and back in. So I want it to connect to that loop in some way, shape, or form. Uh, but as for now, we're probably just going to make a simple tunnel leading all the way back to our base. So anytime we want to come home to spawn, we don't have to worry about that. Now, the next thing that I got planned for in the future, and this is going to be relatively soon because it's my main mode of transportation right now, is I want to set up a horse path, right? Is that... Yeah, we were heading in this direction. Yep, definitely want to head in that one. Uh, I want to set up an actual pathway to my base from spawn. Now, if you take a look, I've already started to clear out a lot of the trees. Um, I didn't set fire to the forest, set fire to the forest. No, I didn't. I'm not eco mean like that. Is eco mean a word? I don't know. Um, but basically, it's kind of difficult to get out to my place. Look, you don't know where you're going. There's lots of hills like this right here is fairly, fairly annoying to, uh, to try to deal with, to get home every single time. You got to go out this way, then you got to climb around here, and then got to go through here. You got to avoid these trees. See how, what I mean? You get caught already. There's the creeper hole that I blew up already. Not going to fix it because I don't want to. And then we got to head somewhere around here. There it is. And just see how difficult that is. But I've started clearing out the trees right over this hill you will see a bit of a pathway right here. See this whole way? I've started to clear the shape of the land, and we've got a little bridge spot we can make right here, and it's just going to lead all out back to spawn right there. So that is going to be one of our next projects. Once we get done working in between the village, or not the village, sorry, the Dwarven Mine, and that, like that's, we've just got some projects going on. This is kind of more of a minor project that is just going to allow people to get to my base easily. Now, one other thing that is going to be in the back of my mind. Now, this is going to require some help from Mr. Biggs 87X. If he wishes to help, oh, that could have been bad. If he wishes to help, uh, I know me and him had a little business running last server, uh, last season, I should say. Me and him had a little business, and his house is right over there. Mine is right in that little pit. See right there? That is where my place is located. 
So in between us is a bunch of open land. Now, I don't know about you, but I would love to see a giant office building for Mending Mark. MM Inc., you know? Maybe a return of MM Inc. It's possible. It's possible. But we're going to need mass production right there. We need an office building for that, and we need a safe spot to store the Mending Mark once we do find him. But that is another time or another thing for another time. Anyways, though, let's quickly head on over to the base one last time. We're going to take a look and see if we can expand on any future ideas that we have. And then we'll call our quits for today. Let's place this right there. Thank you, Janesy. Uh, but, so, let's take a quick little fly down one more time. There we go. Oh, that could have been really, really bad. So, we're just going to take one last little look down here. We're just going to envision what this city is going to look like. Let's get uh, some sort of, some sort of thing, mental image in our heads right here of what this is going to look like. So when I think Dwarven, I think, I think like mechanical. I think mines everywhere. I think very old age, right? When I think of a Dwarven mine, that's what I think of. So I, that's why I decided to go with kind of the wood sides with like some sort of clay texture because that's what they would have built of back then. Uh, could have done cobblestone as well. That could have looked all right, but I think the clay just brings a different color to it. Uh, the bottom of it. I don't think we're going to have actually any city stuff on the bottom. Now, there's a possibility I do a whole lake at the bottom or just a lake down towards the middle. But the problem is it's not very not very blue. It's not very nature stuff when you think of a dwarven mine, right? We can make it look great, but I'm not sure if that is the the picture that comes to mind when you think of a dwarven mine, right? So that might not be the worst idea, but it might not be fitting in with the tone of the whole place that we got going down here. It's a possibility, though. It's a possibility. We could have almost two layers. We could have the industrial layer, and then we can have the nature layer or the nature layer as we should say it's a possibility but i don't think it's what we're going with today nope probably not but a lake at the bottom could be kind of cool so we'll just take a little look at that in the future uh also 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 as you can see this cave right here was already here and it's a possibility that we use this thing to our advantage it doesn't go in too many directions it's just kind of right here and I think I've blocked it off down there but what I did is when I was going around I left kind of this spot up to the imagination because it's not really easy to make sure that these were all spread out evenly and it fits almost perfectly the whole way around at three spaces three spaces three spaces three spaces but what doesn't fit here is this this is kind of our gap right here the awkward gap and it's not one wide it's two wide so what i think we can do is this could be the opening from the bottom at least down into the mines okay so this could be the bottom entrance hit the bottom entrance this could be the bottom entrance down into the mine shaft <laughs> bottom entrance shaft never mind i'm you're 21 connor grow up uh, but yeah, that, that could be a, a possibility we could do. What I also was thinking might look pretty cool is what if we encase this part right here, this whole open cave right here, in gray stained glass. So we're going to have like the clay leading all the way down, and it's going to stop there. See where those blocks are right there? It's just going to kind of take down that shape. It's going to take that shape as well. And wherever you see open area, that be covered in gray stained glass. Would that, would that look pretty cool? So it's like we have an opening right there looking into the mines from the bottom. It's a possibility. It's highly possible we can pull that off. But we got a lot of work, guys. I know I'm getting ahead of myself. What I envisioned is those train tracks coming down there, maybe coming around the corner there and a little bit outside there and maybe leading back up. Just want constant track movement the whole time. I want the mine carts always moving. I don't know if that's possible. But if it is, that'd be great. What if we got some sort of coal drop off and these mine carts got filled up every time they went by the furnace mine carts? Would that be kind of cool? I don't know. There's lots of possibilities with this, guys. I'm so excited to be back and I'm so excited to have my creative juices flowing once again because that was done. I had nothing for a long time. 
But I've been doing a lot of thinking, and I got a lot, a lot of projects that I want to do in Season 3 of Chaos Craft. So guys, thank you for being patient. Thank you for being around. Thank you for continuing to stay subscribed, even though I lost a lot of you. Hopefully, eventually, I'll start to gain some of you back. And all of you who did say, did stay, I'm very, very grateful for that. And I'll be sure to reward you guys with lots of new videos. But anyways, guys, that is it for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy, then please remember to leave a big thumbs up. And I'll be sure to see you guys next time in another episode of Chaos Craft. Bye-bye.